This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5 Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 11, Reassigning Array Values. We've already seen many examples of how a location in an array can be treated identical to a variable. The last ex in the, la the last exercise we'll perform to prove this point is reassigning array values. Oh, excellent. The syntax, which is like the code grammar, the syntax for reassigning values stored in an array is identical to that used when reassigning variables. Even the plus plus notation to increase a variable by one works. My array, okay, so the array's name is my array when it's declared. Two, so this is the third index of an array because we start counting at zero for their indexes. So my array two is going to be set to whatever array two used to be plus one, which is we could do my array two plus plus or what they're doing for part eight. All right. The program you're about to create, you're about to see, creates an empty array and adds three random values to it. You will be adding code to the program that increases each value by one. Add code to the program that increases the value stored at each location by one. Use the council log to confirm that it correctly increased the values. Below is a sample output from one run of the program. Okay. So this is where it's printing the original stuff. This is where we are going to add one. So how do we know the index of these items? Well, we don't know what the number will be, but I do know it's getting appended to my number, my numbers, my numbers. So my numbers is going to be our array that we're using. So we want to add one to each part of this. So my numbers, and then what index? Well, we're going to have three indexes, right? Three indices, because one, two, three things. And we know we start at zero. So index zero is going to equal my numbers. I'm going to do this two ways. Zero, right? It's going to equal exactly what it, what it equaled before plus one. And now I can also do it like this. And we learned this in an earlier lesson. Now I'm going to add one to the second index, which is going to be whatever this random number ends up being. And so to access that, since we start counting at zero, we say one. And I'm going to do plus plus. Keep in mind, this plus plus is the same thing this is doing. Plus plus means, okay, this equals whatever my numbers one used to be plus one. Just two plus signs does the same thing. And then I'm going to just control C for copy, control V for paste, except this is going to be two now for our last index. Let's check it out. But da And did it add one? Yep, let's try one more time. Awesome. So now we really know how to access information with an array. I'm excited to see what we're going to build and do with it. Let's keep going. 